Hey guys, I'm Rita and in this episode I will show you how you can issue purchase order from Xero. To issue a purchase order, you can go through quick links, so by clicking on this plus button and go to purchase order. Or we can go through business section and here we can go to purchase orders where you have a purchase order list. To add a new purchase order, click on new purchase order and you will have a purchase order form which need to be filled in. Firstly, at the top, we can attach a file to this particular purchase order. And let's type in contact details. So for example, I have a snack limited, but once you type details to completely new supplier and click add supplier, you'll be able to add new supplier to your contact list. Select the date of purchase order and delivery date of this purchase order as well. Order number is system generated automatically, but you can still amend it. Plus, if you need to quote any additional references, you can do it by uh, adding in this field. You can change your currency if you wish. Click add new currency and you will be able to add new currency and issue quote in that particular currency as well. If there is tax involved, select one of uh, drop-down list um, available options and add an items. So for example, I have snack bars, I have protein bars from this supplier, so I want to purchase these items. And okay, so quantity. I can add the quantity, so for example, it's 400, 400, 400, and 400. Price is automatically selected from item list, but we can still amend if we wish to. And the same applies for these uh, accounts. So if you don't track particular products, then it will go automatically to cost of sales, but we can still amend if we wish to do so. To add even more lines, just select drop down list and you can add 5, 10 or even 20 rows and fill in details. We can still change delivery address. We can add details like attention and telephone number plus any other delivery instructions if required. We can save this draft, save and submit for approval or save and add another purchase order or we can approve it automatically from here. So if I click on approve, this being Purchase order has been approved. Now I can distribute out by clicking send. I can print and in that case also download, mark as build, add support documents or under options we have edit, delete or copy to new purchase order if required. So this is a way how you can issue purchase order on Xero. If you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me.